Hi, this is George from George's Insects, and today I'm going, uh, this is the second, th sorry, the fourth episode of Getting a Pet Tortoise. So I'm just going to recap what we went over in the prior episodes, and if you are thinking of getting a tortoise, I would highly recommend uh, watching uh, the series in order. In the first episode, I went over what you should have researched. So I linked plenty of um, different resources and don't just use the don't just use a search engine. Also use different uh, sources. So speaking to professionals, YouTube can be great if you found the correct care videos. And just compare the care, and then you can calibrate the care to fit your needs and your tortoise's needs. And also, I I specified that the more time you have to research is the better. So preferably a few months, even a year, is preferable. Uh, for the amount of time you should be researching, but again, it's up to you when you think you're ready. But I would recommend doing a very large amount of extensive research before you get your animal. Uh, so in the second ep episode, I covered enclosures and care. So, uh, sorry, in the first episode, you should have also chosen where they went, a tropical or Mediterranean species. So in the second episode, I covered care and enclosures. So, in terms of care, I covered general tortoise care and general tortoise enclosures. It does not apply to spe uh, species specific anim species specific animals. Uh, and by the end of the second video, you should have chosen whether you um, which which actual species do you want. So, whether it was some Mediterranean tortoise, such as the Russian tortoise, uh, the Hermans tortoise, or the Greek tortoise, or whether it was a um, more tropical species such as the Galapagos tortoise, the elongated tortoise, or the cherry head tortoise. So, um, in the third episode, I covered uh, where you were going to get your pet from, so breeders and buying. So, by this point, so after you've watched the last video, you should have decided, you should have researched uh, more and decided whether you were going to get um, your animal from a breeder, a chain pet shop, which if you watched the last video, you would know that I do not recommend. Um, a rescue or a uh, privately owned pet shop so there are a few there are lots of options to get a pet and preferably you would have possibly visited some of these places so I know for example a lot of the rescue centers you can visit and see how the animals are kept that's the same for pet stores as well but it might be more difficult with private breeders uh, yeah, by the end of that episode you should have chosen um, which um, which place you're going to go to uh, or what type of place you're going to go to. So, in this episode, I will be covering getting your, um, so getting a pet tortoise. And before we start, before we even go into this episode, I want to reiterate that you have to have done extensive research. You know the care to the dot. Um, you, you've built, you've got the enclosure ready, and you are literally at the last step actually getting the animal. So it's very, very important that you've already done this prior, very extensive research before getting the animal. So um, there's a few quick things you might want to do before actually getting the animal is making sure uh, building you've built the enclosure and making sure that you can provide that you have measured the temperatures over preferably around a week uh, to know what the temperature in the enclosure is. Also, uh, for specific humidity loving uh, species, you may have uh, measured the um, humidity and made sure that you can provide a consistent humidity. Also, there are a few books I will link some in the description, certain for Mediterranean tortoise and some for tropical uh, tortoise species. But yeah, just please make sure that you've done adequate and extensive research before getting your pet. So the next step is buying your pet tortoise or rescuing your pet tortoise. So yeah, that's basically the next step. I haven't covered much in depth into this in the video, in the video, but there will be more. Uh, I'm not sure how many videos to follow, but there will be videos to follow on certain things such as vets and costs uh, and different things like that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and please do consider clicking that, clicking that subscribe button. And again, I do recommend that you go and watch the rest of the series that have already occurred and the episodes to come. So keep a lookout for that. The next one will be out in two days, uh, in four days. <laughs>
So thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you want any help, contact links will be in the description. Also, affiliate links will be down in the description. Um, and any useful links will also be down in the description. Uh, and if you need any help, please do not hesitate to contact me either through my contact links in the description or the comment section. Um, but yeah, so not much covered in this video. But yeah, next video we will be looking at different things once you've got your tortoise. But please be sure that you've done the adequate research before getting a tortoise. Uh, so yeah guys, watch the next episode.